Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will learn about client handling in CDS table function. Let's get started. Now, what I will do, I will call this particular CDS table function in one of my report program. So I have one existing report program. So let me use that one. It's a blank one. So you can see there is no data. Let me put this one over here. So in this, there is nothing is there. So first, what we will do, we will create one local class and a static main method. We will not do. There is a simple thing. We will use one template which we have created. And I have explained this particular template in one of my one of my short video as well, how to create the template and use these templates. So you can see in this one, we have one local demo class definition and one local demo plus implementation. Inside that we have public in the public section, we have one static man method, which we are calling in our start of selection event. Inside this, we will write a select statement to call this particular CDS table function. But first and most important thing, whenever you call the CDS table function, you should check that this your particular database supports AMDP or not. So for checking the database or if you are working with the multiple database also, you have to write the for other database, the different code which will be the direct select or something else instead of right calling that CDS table function directly. So for that, we have one class which I have already explained uh, in my last video CL underscore ABAP underscore DB feature. You do control space database features and you can call static method of this class use features. You can do shift enter. It will give you the template. Again, from this same class, we can use one of the attribute over here. So what is the attribute? Uh, I want to check the compatibility of the AMDP table function. So it will return the AMDP table functions. It's supported or not. So requested feature, we want to pass this particular feature is it support in current database or not. This particular receiving value return us the it will it is supported then it will return x otherwise it will be blank but still i am getting one error over here what error both are not non compatible type so let me see what is the type of this one you have to do f2 and you can see the this is the type what is the data element it is the internal table type you can see type has table of this one and we didn't pass the internal table type i think we have passed simply the structure so we have to pass the value. We have to create the internal table out of it for that value of this particular this one. This value I'm passing, but still this will be the structure only. We have to create the internal table for that. We have to put one more bracket to create first row of this particular internal table. So like this, we can create on go internal table and we can pass the field value as a this particular there is in this internal table if you see f2 and if you further go inside this one and inside this one so you can see there is only one field that is a type of integer 4 only so so we, i have passed this field value and club in this is the first row of my this one if i want to pass if we, i want to check the multiple features that also I can do. I can pass another features in another row like that also I can do. But as of now, I required only one feature. I created internal table and I passed and I'm checking. I will get the result in this one. Now here again, three things. So value operator, if you don't know, you can watch out my previous video that I have explained very well value and new operator. So first thing we can receive from here, I can do control shift greater than I can do the data declaration here, data uh, LV supported, one variable will come supported. This is again inline declaration. Okay, control Z. Uh, I have to write here LV underscore support. So I can create this one and this I, I can use further if LV support equal to X, then only we have to call this table function in our select statement. Otherwise, we should not call. 
the second thing what we can do uh, instead of doing this receiving since is the uh, it is whenever we have receiving we can directly get that value from this function like this data lv underscore support and we can get value like this and this will also return the same value so this ultimately this is uh, returning this receiving value in this data part you don't want to do like this and again you for this case also we have to write if and else uh, control space and we have to if and else uh, we have to check this lv support equal to x control c control v equal to x and we have to write like this again one more way we can do just call this control x uh, and uh, i don't need this one as of now take space so instead of writing this statement itself i can call on go this particular function this particular class method here itself and it will return if it is x then the if will become x and this particular part will be executed otherwise else if you want to if your database multiple database or if your database is not supporting you can write it down some other code as well so like this also we can call in the single line instead of writing the code in the multiple lines so let me remove the commented code uh, so what we are doing just we are passing this class and uh, we are using this ABAP database feature class where we are passing this particular AMDP table function is supported or not it will return us one value x or space if x then we will call the this particular CDS table function here control C so before calling this CDS table function let me activate this control F3 and let me increase this size and what I will do make I will call first client dependent CDS table function let me make it client dependent or control z if i don't use it become automatically client dependent and if it is client dependent your first field should be client so i have already the client field and sap whenever you are using the client dependent field sap recommend us to use the parameter as a client and pass the default client value but everything we are doing let me activate control f3 and according to according to this only we have to change uh, our uh, mdp function as well since we are passing the client field let me do control shift greater than let me remove this one and this is the not client one this is client and i have to use here i can use client one as well not an issue uh, if but in this case your both the fields can be similar because it's uh, it, uh, this client field client element not field client element not work is a the, the tabular tabular result form it will not return just we will get the sales order value since it is client dependent cds view okay i didn't use any annotation so it become automatically client dependent let me activate this control f3 uh, and let me activate this also control f3 so i didn't get any error thank god so what i will do in the if part since if it is supported I have to write select uh, all. I can write select all from, or you can write fill list also uh, from. This time I have to pass this one control C, control V into table, it did data, and I have to host this variable and I have to do the inline declaration it underscore result that's it and let me control space again we have template size of initial in this case let me do the cl underscore demo underscore output and i have to call the display method of it display and i can pass directly one value only we are having here control c control v so you can see i can pass the it result and let me close this one let me do shift f1 control f3 let me do f9 so you can see uh, let me clear out the console 
and do F9 again. So you can see we got the all the cells order, but it will be better along with the cells order, we get the number of entries as well. So how many entries we are getting and what client we are getting from. So it will be better to get the number of lines. It's simple, create one local variable lb underscore count and get the lines of this particular it result table control v and close it out and once we get the result we have to display as well so control c control v and we have to pass this time control c lb count and we can't display multiple times so we have to write first time and second time we have to display and let me activate this program control f3 and let me do f9 so since it is clear out the console it was old data let me do f9 again so now the newer data so we have 1110 entries all the sales order numbers are here so like that we can get the entries in this case it is client dependent Suppose I want to get from the CDS function only, but I want to get the data from the different client. So what we have to do previously we used to do using the client specified, but now we have to use using client. This is the new syntax using client and I can pass the whatever the client I want to get. I want to get the data from the 800 client. So you can pass the 800 client. One most important thing. Uh, if you want to know about more about the what is the difference between the using client and client specified i already have created one video on that you can watch out that so you can see we are getting that uh, one morning uh, together with entities that depend on access of the dcl uh, if you are using the client and we define some dcl over here again it will check and we can get dumped so we have to make sure those all the things uh, if we have the dcl means data control language we have created for this table function we can create the dcl as well like we can create for the uh, ddic vsu or simple cds entity for this also we can create the or uh, for authorization check we can create the dcl as well so let me activate this one control f3 and let me do the f9 for that first i have to clear out the console and again i can do f9 how many entries got with this time 165 entries only because we are getting from the different client this is this entries coming from the 800 client so we can get even through uh, here it is uh, by default it is passed here uh, current client but when we use using client instead of uh, passing this current client by default it will use this particular 800 client over here and we will get the data from this method implementation uh, from the current client so you can see here we are passing client over here you can see client over here this client where it is coming from uh, this is coming from here and this where it came from this came from this using client if you don't pass any client then this 800 will this whatever the value we have passed in the 800 client uh, in the using client that same value will be taken care from here so this is about the client dependent cds view if our client uh, our uh, cds table function if our cds table function is client independent and obviously we can't use this environmental annotation control shift less than and if i pass let me activate this one control f3 and let me go here in our my class over here and put enter to check the syntax again you can see i'm getting one error over here the client one was uh let me first do control shift less than what error i am getting client one was not bound because in this case we didn't pass any default parameter value so we have to pass some parameter over here then only it will work so i have to pass i can do control space so it will give me help you have to pass client one Suppose I want to pass different client, I can get past the 800 client. Like this, I can pass. This is client independent. And I can activate this one, control F3. I can do F9 over here. Obviously, I will get the data. 
but this time let me clear out the console to make sure f9 and i'm getting the data but again from the 900 client but this time we go to the client field as well since our cds table function is client dependent so this particular field act is a an element in the return table so we are getting this data since we are selecting all from here so we have passed the client one let me clear out the console and close this console but in this case if i try to use this one control shift greater than the using client i will get the error what is the error using client is used at least one table must be client specific so if i am using using client in this case this particular table it is considering since cds table function is returning one table but this table from table is itself the cds table function itself client independent obviously we can't use client as i told you uh, if you want to know more about the using client and client specify you can watch out my that video and you will get very good clarification over here so let me do control shift f1 control shift less than and let me do control f3 and we can get the data like this so you we have discussed cds table function in in the normal data preview as well and in the select statement as well with the client dependent and client independent cds table function the most important thing we have to use whenever we are using the in our program we have to check the our database support the cds table function or not this check is mandatory suppose it is not supported we have to write the fallback code for this instead of getting the data from the cds table function we can directly get from the ABAP. in this case every time it is running because this feature this because currently i am using hana database and hana database is supporting the imdp so this particular statement is get getting executed if i execute this uh, with some other database where the imdp is not supported obviously as of now there is no other database support the imdp so in that case we have to write some fallback code in this case what will be the fallback code we have to get directly data from the vba key. this video we have learned about the client handling in cds table function before going to next video please like this video subscribe this channel and share these videos with others as well with that thank you and happy learning